There are two things which almost every alien encounter seems to have in common. Hillbilly butt stuff and aliens that look eerily similar to those we've heard described in the stories of other people. So, if aliens have visited the Earth, and it's a big if, then it looks like only a distinct few species have ever enjoyed the privilege. 58 to be precise, as this is the number of alien types supposedly documented by a secret book given to members of the Russian Secret Service. So based on this, and the testimonies of those who claim to have met them, let us briefly suspend belief, and my use of the words reportedly, supposedly, and allegedly, to bring you this, our look at eight species of hypothetical aliens. At number eight, the greys. Greys are the most recognizable form of alien species with these short, hairless grey humanoids involved in the majority of alien encounters, making up 50% in Australia, 43% in the US, and 67% in Brazil, because clearly the universe does not adhere whatsoever to diversity quotas. Greys are thought to be three to four foot tall, with long, thin limbs and just three fingers. And many of those who encounter them say they are often accompanied by tiny dwarf-like creatures even shorter than the greys themselves. Also known as Zeta reticuli, this type is heavily associated with the Roswell incident of 1947, but the first description of a grey's appearance came from Barney and Betty Hill back in 1961. In an area just south of Twin Mountain, New Hampshire, this ordinary God-fearing couple encountered an unidentified flying object during a picnic. The craft began to hover above the couple's Chevy, causing them to stop in the middle of the highway. And when Barney Hill stepped out of the car to confront the UFO with his pistol, he saw eight to eleven short gray humanoids peering out of the windows. These creatures wore glossy black uniforms and black caps. <gasps> kind of like the bad biker from the village people. But this description was all Barney and Betty could muster. Until they were hypnotized. It turned out the hills had mentally blocked out certain parts of this encounter. And when the couple were later placed under hypnosis, they gave a more detailed description of being molested by creatures with grayish skin, black hair, dark eyes prominent noses, and bluish lips. This description has been expanded and revised by other abductees in later years since, with sightings describing them as having no genitals, large, opaque eyes, and small slits where the nose and ears should be. At number 7. Nordics Nordic aliens are the type which most closely resemble human beings with their eight-foot stature, blonde hair, and blue eyes, leading some to believe that these creatures are our ancient ancestors who have returned to study us. Also referred to as Pleiadian, due to their originating in the Pleiades star cluster, the majority of those who have met Nordics claim to have only seen males, with the few female encounters ever recorded almost always reported by human men, and almost always involving heavy sexual elements. By which I mean these guys are pretending they've been banged by hot Amazon space goddesses. And not that they've been covered in some kind of dirty, sexy space mercury. George Adamski was one of the first people to claim he had met Nordic aliens back in the mid-1950s, and those who have encountered them since say that despite their stature, these beings are nothing but spiritual, protective, and affectionate. They also have telepathic powers, and they use this power to communicate their reasons for visiting us, which are to help protect our environment and bring about world peace. Sadly, despite aliens of this description being seen often in the 1950s, visitations by Nordics have dwindled in the years since, with human beings apparently in more dire need of a feel-up from the greys than some recycling tips from our Swedish celestial ancestors. At number 6. Reptilians 
The reptilian breed of alien is difficult to describe physically, as not only are there three types, but these creatures also possess the power to change their appearance. Draco reptilians are the elite members of reptilian society, with these white-skinned beings rarely seen by humans, since they send other lesser forms of life to do their work. Draco are the only reptilians to possess wings, with most of them horned and standing at a height of over three meters tall. These reptilians rule over both the reptoid human and reptilian gray crossbreeds, with both of these species being much shorter at around one to two meters. Reptilians were first encountered in 1967 by Nebraska police officer Herbert Schirmer, and since then their reputation has been enhanced by conspiracy theorists such as David Icke, who claim that their ability to shapeshift means they've penetrated every level of human society. George W. Bush, Barack Obama, and Queen Elizabeth are some of the world leaders accused of being secretly reptilian, with the likes of Miley Cyrus, Kim Kardashian, and William Shatner also accused of hiding their reptilian nature, along with Screech from Saved by the Bell. At 5. The Anunnaki The Anunnaki were first mentioned in ancient myth tales from the Sumerians. They were described as tall, albino humanoids who came to Earth 4,000 years ago to enslave all of us. And some believe the Anunnaki were no myth, and that we'll find them living on a world within our solar system which we've yet to discover, the planet Nibiru. The Anunnaki are thought to be a superior sapient race with their levels of intelligence and consciousness so high that comparing us to them is like comparing humans to monkeys. So. If you ever meet these highly advanced individuals, it might be tough to get a conversation going. 4. The Kilimer Uk The Kilimer Uk is a lesser known species of alien due to them being banned from visiting Earth in the year 1000 BC for unknown reasons. Maybe they got super freaky at the water park or something. It happens to the best of us. Despite this, their kind have been seen on our world quite recently, in December of 1989. And this serpent-like species is considered something of a mystery race, since we know nothing of their traits, abilities, or their motives. The few depictions of the Kilimer Auk make them look like a testicle with eyes, and documented sightings of their kind are hard to come by. What we do know is that they supposedly hail from the constellation Volans, and that their closest allies are the Maitra, which is not good at all. 3. The Maitra They are described as the most violent and sinister race of aliens in the known universe. They currently occupy two planets, but they're always hungry for expansion. These fellas may be small, standing at less than a meter in height, but their parasitic appetite for land makes them a feared race wherever they go. Despite their lust for colonization, you can guarantee Tumblr would love the Matra due to their hermaphroditic nature. Two bi-gendered Matra are needed to produce a pup, and these infants are capable of sustaining themselves from a frighteningly young age. Earth has been protected from the Matra by a race called the Nine Governors for over a millennia now. But even so, the Matra continue to raid our planet in secret, with their most recent excursion involving the abduction of 10 African people in September 2006. Number 2. The Syrians Not to be confused with people from Syria, or the lady who lives in your phone, the Syrians were one of the first alien civilizations to visit our solar system around four to five million years ago. Syrians are typically water-dwelling people who prefer to exist in the deepest and darkest oceans and lakes of the universe. And this is why they have dark blue skin and dark pronounced eyes, allegedly. <laughs> oh, shing for friggin' I said I wouldn't say that word. And at number one, chupacabras. All those stories about the goat sucking chupacabra, they're real, don't you know? 
Chupacabras are said to be the newest addition to the list of alien Earth invaders, with these flying, tan-colored imps said to closely resemble the devil, while simultaneously stinking like cat pee. Their glowing red eyes and three large forehead horns make them hard to miss in a crowd, which is why they've only been spotted on a small number of occasions since arriving in Brazil in the early 90s. Since then, they've taken further trips to Florida, Mexico, and Puerto Rico, with the occasional sighting also reported in Russia and the United Kingdom. It has been speculated that these wild animals were placed here by a more advanced race for sport or entertainment. And if we find out who did this, we need to seriously have a word with them. Because the Chupacabra's favorite pastime is to drain creatures entirely of their blood. Great! Thanks a lot, alien jerks. If we find out where you live, we're going to send you a whole mess of angry weasels and see how you like it. So that's our list. Do you think any of these aliens exist? What about you? guy in the comment section called Aliens Exist who always introduces himself? What do you think? It's certainly possible, don't you think? Because if you've seen our recent video on seven astonishing creatures that once roamed the Earth, there have been far weirder species who've lived on this very planet. And if you haven't seen that video, it's coming up right now.